Hi everyone. Today I would like to begin with a really good. Oh, sorry, I've got a call. Excuse me. Why? Be my. Ha? Say it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. So I was about to ask, have you ever met someone who can switch between languages effortlessly? What's the secret behind this seamless switch? Language has been a crucial part in human life throughout centuries. As we all know, we were not born with language or speech. Then here comes the question: How do we suddenly know how to speak in certain languages? Well, simply speaking, there are two language centers in our brain. We've got Broca's area, which understands language through memories, meanings, and emotions. We've also got Fernica's area, which decodes the speech that we learned, and they are connected by nerve fibers, which send signals to and from the brain. Now let's talk about how we learn our native language. We came in contact with our native language three months before we were born. As we interact with others, and our nerve fibers become more and more powerful in their ability to transmit information, we are able to use and understand a language better as we grow. The same theory applies to people who grow up speaking two different languages. One thing that's special about bilingual brains is that they share a mechanism for combining words from a single language and from two different languages. The mechanism does not detect a change of language, which allows people the seamless switch. While for people who grow up learning a new language, a separate area would develop. The mechanism can therefore detect a change of language. Well, then you may wonder. Does it mean that we can never switch between languages if we learn a new language? Well, the truth is, we can make it your second native language by, say, living in a country that speaks that language, or simply by practicing it really hard. That way, you can change between languages just like bilingual people does. So, to sum up, there are two language centers in our brain that helps us with language. And one thing that's special about bilingual people, except the fact that they can switch between languages, is that they share a mechanism for combining words from different languages. Amazing, isn't it? Therefore, next time when you meet someone who can switch between languages, instead of just wondering what they are talking about, think about the science behind. Then you can talk to them in a special language, the language of science. Thank you. Ellen, another amazing story there, um, and we're going to go over to the judges and see if they would like to know some things about you. So, um, what made you choose this topic of languages? Um, it's because one day I was talking to my brother at school, and we use Cantonese to communicate. So, um, my friend was. Say, uh, sitting right next to me, and she said to me, "Why can't you speak two languages like fluently?" And I'm just really fascinated by it because I've never thought of it for like 14 years of my life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Adam, did you want to ask something? Yeah, I really liked how you ended with uh, the, the language of science and communication, which is what FameLab is all about. So, for you, what's been the best part about taking part in FameLab? Um, I think the best part is I get to meet um, different contestants from other schools and from my school. So yeah, we can like share our ideas on like science and different stuff. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. Cool. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you, Ellen. Well done. Congratulations. I'm back down to your Thank seat. You. Thank you.